Hello everyone, and a few days ago Gooseworks and Glitch got active again and showed us a bunch of new leaks that are directly related to the second episode, and if you haven't forgotten, it will be shown in Japan in a week, and maybe we will see a huge number of different leaks then. But the most important thing is that they will be as accurate as possible. Well, while we're waiting for that date, let's take a look at all the leaks we've seen recently. On the 7th of April, Gooseworks told us, I hope people are ready for the rest of Taddy C to be nothing like the pilot. And at the time, a lot of people didn't know what that meant. But just yesterday, she showed us a snippet of a new track that will be the intro to the second episode. Let's listen to it. But as it's quite long, I'm going to speed it up a few times. And right away, you can see a gradual buildup from a calm rhythm to an anxious state. It's as if this soundtrack would be perfect for the opening teaser of the first season. Or maybe it's the track that was playing in Jax's headphones in one of Gooseworks' posts. But the important thing to take from this is that the new episode is indeed complete, and we can expect more and more digital circus in the near future. Our friends of Glitch's team have not wasted any time either, and after two weeks of posts about the new episode of Murder Drones, they have finally presented us with a post about the second episode of the digital circus. The caption for this photo goes something like, hmm, something's missing. And there is indeed something missing. We can clearly see Pomni, Kane, Regatha, and Kinger. Maybe a new episode is missing. But what I'm most excited about is the Ferris wheel, where Kane is riding our characters with a disgruntled look on his face. And the oldest subscribers to my channel will remember that I said in one of my videos that the amusement park could be one of the new locations for the new episode. And apparently I was right. I think that this is only a small part of what this place has to offer. And in the new episode, we can reveal it not just as a place for entertainment, but as an integral part of the life of the circus, where our characters spend a lot of time to distract themselves from all the horrors they experience living in the tent of the digital circus. Now it's time to talk about the weirdest leak that Glitch apparently published by mistake. Because this post was deleted just a few seconds later, but I still managed to fix this post. And at the moment, it is not clear what the creators wanted to convey with this picture. Maybe this character will be a new villain in the second episode, but this character reminds me a lot of someone. In the meantime, what do you think about this leak? And was it really a mistake on Glitch's part? And as far as I understand, this post should have appeared before the global release of the new episode. I'm also surprised that we can see someone's hands in this picture, and apparently it's Arcane. But why is he handcuffed? What if this TV character is some kind of policeman of the digital circus universe? And if my theory is correct, then I can be sure that my other theory, that Kane is actually a villain, is also correct. Well, we'll talk about that later, but for now, let's discuss all the other leaks that might be related to the new episode. Also, I think many of you remember that image of Jax in a very intriguing outfit. And although initially it seemed to be just a funny image, one of the Thumbler users got curious about it and asked Gooseworks about it directly. In response to which our creator replied, I can't disclose that which could mean that this seemingly crazy picture is a reference to some new episode. And considering the fact that in the same post, Goose mentioned the third episode as the most anticipated one, I can confidently say that there is a huge possibility that this beautiful maid outfit could be worn by Jax in the third episode. And if we already talked about the third episode, let's remember Gooseworks' words about who it will be dedicated to. And I think all of you know who we're talking about. Of course, we're talking about Zubal, who we're going to talk about now. We all remember what Zubal looks like in the pilot episode, but few people paid attention to this leak. On the one hand, we see Jax and Zubal and nothing else unusual happens. But not only this picture is a reference for one of the most memorable scenes of the pilot episode, but it also shows what Zubal will look like in the second episode. And look how funny Jax moves in this moment. By the way, we were recently shown a very interesting concept of Jax's various actions and I spent about an hour to compare them all with Jax's actions in the pilot episode, and I'll tell you that not a single similarity was found. But what does that tell us? Remember the very old leaked characters that fit the actions of the pilot episode perfectly? Don't you think that the second episode will be very much full of different scenes with Jax? That's why we see both a surprised and a scared Jax. I'm not even talking about that. Apparently Jax was very inspired by Pomni's behavior in the pilot episode, Remember how I mentioned that the details of Zubal in episode 2 will be different from what we saw in the pilot episode? And judging from the fact that Gooseworks stated that the best look of Zubal will be in the fourth episode, we can understand that each new episode will show us a new outfit of our mysterious Zubal. Also, let's remember the character introductions, where Zubal was changing parts on her body. But before that, she bent over somewhere, and then I wondered where Zubal gets the new parts from. 
And after a few hours of searching, I found an old concept which is completely dedicated to Zubal, and on this concept we can clearly see two completely different images of the same character. But the most interesting thing for us is this suitcase, where most likely all the Zubal parts are stored, and if we go back to the Thumbler post, I think it is in the fourth episode that we will see Zubal's face change. Let's talk a little bit about the new character of the new episode, Princess Luli Lalu, and judging by the fact that Gooseworks has stated that this character is her favorite among all the newcomers, it's safe to say that we will see a lot of scenes with her in the second episode. But I am here to show you the hidden renders of this character, and they will blow your mind. Look how perfectly she is made, and how many small but very important details we will be able to see on her. Let's just praise Gooseworks for such a great job. I think everyone remembers this funny scene from the first season announcement, but who knows that originally this scene looked like this, then this, and in the final version everyone has already seen it. But not only this scene is hidden from our eyes, let's take a closer look at all of them. And the first scene is the very beginning of this trailer. Remember how Pomni is sleeping at first and then Kane brutally wakes up our girl? After that, there was a very interesting conversation between them and just this process of this conversation and showed us one of the animators. That's what I like about such videos, that we can learn the original vision of the author on this or that scene. Is that how that normally works? Shut up! I have so much to show you! <laughs> Your little crying face left quite the little crying mark on the internet. Even here, we can see that in the original version of the room, Pomni looked quite different than in the final scene. At least we don't see the curtains that partially cover Pomni's bed. And also originally, it was supposed that Pomni would not have one big pillow, but several small ones. The trailer also showed a fragment that was an exact copy of a scene from the pilot episode. I have so much to show you! <laughs> Your little- However, while in the trailer we see a perfect transition between locations, in the original version, the transition was supposed to be a full-fledged teleportation through the so-called wormhole. This scene reminds me very much of Pomni's journey through the void, and of course I can't help but mention the digital circus area, which just looks disgusting. But I have an assumption that this animator simply did not bother with the scenery, and focused more on the movements of the characters. But what I'm most interested in is where the digital circus tent went, and the beautiful meadow instead of the lake also fascinates me a lot. I'm not even talking about the completely eco-friendly amusement park. And did you pay attention to Kane's hat? In the final version, it looks with a red stripe, but in the process of creation, the authors assumed that the stripe will be blue. And to be honest, the final version looks a hundred times better. The great and powerful artificial pet bubble. What surprised me was that he came right out of Pomni's mouth. Uh, you... How can we support the production of this cool new show? Great question, Pomni. All merch sales go right back into funding the show and allow us to do bigger and crazier things. Wowee! I've become a pen if it meant getting sold to fund more wacky... And in the original scene, he looks too rough, if I may say so. Just compare the original and the final version. In the original version, Bubble represents some blue substance, while in the final version, Bubble looks like a real soap bubble. Look how beautifully his body shimmers in the sunlight. And then we see Kane. Nothing out of the ordinary happens, but it's important to note that I'm once again disturbed by his eyes. Of course they are not as creepy as before, but now they both have blue circles around them, even though we all know that one of Kane's eyes is green. Based on the previous behind the scenes, I realized that Kevin Temmer is responsible for the most complex animations on this character, and this shot was no exception. But I'm very interested to know what this mysterious fast food restaurant is. And using Jax as an example, it is very easy to explain the reason for such a long absence of a new episode. Just compare the original footage and the final version. Of course, such an improvement takes a lot of time and effort. I want to wish everyone success and good luck and bye-bye.